We're getting a closer look at drug overdose statistics over the past year. Data from the Hamilton County Health Department shows there were 226 overdoses last year. 73% of those were due to fentanyl and two thirds of the victims were men. The data includes heat maps of where the most drug overdoses are happening in the county. But what we're seeing is, you know, the areas with a bigger population, um, especially around the, the I-75 um, corridor, those we do see a, a higher percentage of um, suspected fatalities and suspected non-fatal overdoses. So we work very closely with law enforcement. We work with our local EMS. Um, we work uh, with our local Hamilton County Coalition. Um, we actually meet together monthly um, to talk about um, the trends, the data. They advise those struggling with drug addiction to come to a health department location as they can get you help through the Hamilton County Coalition. The data in their overdose report is on the Hamilton County Health Department's website. We have a link to that on ours, WDEF.com. The health department has also released their 2023 community health survey. That survey gives residents a chance to give their opinions on the state of their communities. It asks participants their activity level, health history, and what concerns them the most about where they live. It's completely anonymous and health officials hope it gives them a clearer picture of what public health priorities should be in the coming years. Is there transportation issues that's a barrier? Do you not have access to fresh fruits and vegetables? Every individual has a different barrier associated with their lives. And so we want to hear from all of our neighbors in Hamilton County to get feedback from you as individuals on what that need is. The survey can be taken online or in person at any county health clinic. We have a link to that survey on our website, WDEF.com.